Hey, thanks for joining me today, guys. Today I'm going to tie something called the Lefty's Deceiver. Um, it's a very popular fly uh, for saltwater fishermen and uh, freshwater fishermen alike. Um, warm water species for freshwater, really, uh, for like bass and pike. Um, so we're going to start by wrapping in some lead wire. Um, I like using lead wire on these. Um, you don't have to, um, but I like making them a little bit uh, heavier. I like them to sink just a little bit. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to want to start our thread. Now you can put the lead wire up higher on the on the hook um, to make it nose heavy, or you can put it back to make it kind of sink more even. Um, you know, just right in the center of the hook is where I always put it. Um, I don't think it really matters a whole lot. Um, but uh, so you want to go ahead and tie in your thread. I want to give a nice little taper to this to make sure that it's not just you know a whole bunch of big clump of lead wire. So just give it a nice taper. It'll make it easier tying in your other materials later. You'll see what I mean. Okay. So next we're going to take our hackle. Uh, this is just saddle hackle. No need using the uh, dry fly hackle. Don't spend the money on that. Plus. Um, you know, you want this nice taper. As you can see, it's a nice triangular table, uh, taper. So I've got three of them. I'm just going to tie in three. Uh, you want to kind of bring them all together as close as you can. Okay. Um, and this creates the tail. And they are going to be separated just a little bit. Um, that's okay. And... You want to measure it out how long you want it. Um, that's about right for me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess. And then I'm going to pull out. I don't know if you can see me doing this, but pull out those extra fibers. Okay. And then we go ahead and just tie that in. Okay. I'm going to go back to... Where your feathers are. And I'm going to pull out a couple uh, pieces of this flashaboo. This is the fine flashaboo. I like a lot of flashaboo on this, so I grab a big clump. Um, and you want to just tie in halfway on one side of your feathers. Okay, go ahead and wrap it over on itself. Okay, and then tie in on the other side of your feathers. And then I'm going to take a couple pieces, uh, two to three of this saltwater size flashaboo. It's a little bit thicker. And we're going to tie in a piece of that, or three pieces of that. Okay, and then we're going to bring our thread all the way up to about three quarters of the way back up to the hook. Okay, and then we're going to start threading on our flash boo. Okay, we'll tie that in nice and tight. Okay, and next we're going to tie in our belly piece. So, for that, we want to take, usually it's white, um, bucktail, take a clump of bucktail, okay, and how you want to prepare bucktail is, um, pull out all the smaller fibers, you want to move your fingers up, um, most of the way up, and then just go ahead and start, and you can see I'm pulling out some of these fibers, these are the shorter fibers, that just kind of create too much bulk, you don't need a lot of bulk. I like tying these a little more wispy than most just because it makes it easier to cast. Okay, and then we want to measure out. We want our belly section to be a little shorter than, than the wing. So the belly section, you want it just a little bit past the, the hook. You can see that's about right. Then we want to tie in our wing. So go ahead and grab another clump of the, the white. And our wing we want a little bit longer. Alright, 
once you get that in, you want to kind of twist these a little bit. Okay. Make sure that uh, they kind of cover around the sides of the hook a bit and look on both sides to make sure it's pretty well covered. Okay. And then last, we want to take our our chartreuse for the top part of the wing here or whatever color you guys are tying this in okay do the same prepare this and start building up a little bit of a head it's a little tricky getting over some of this um, these pieces of uh, bucktail. It's a thick piece, so it's kind of like wrapping over a, a hump here. But we want to start building a head, and then I, for the gill, I like using um, calf tail. Uh, you can use like crystal flash, or you know, but uh, generally it's red. Um, just a little piece of that. You don't need a lot of this. Tie that in, and then just go go ahead and cover up everything. Okay. Then we can whip finish. Hey guys, um, so my uh, <laughs> my camera died on me. I didn't realize I didn't have it fully charged, so my camera died on me right as I was whip finishing. Uh, but I just wanted you to see what this fly looks like all all done. Um, I actually went through and epoxied the eyes. Um, I was going to tie another one, but you know I was so close to to the end. I just figured you guys could see what it looks like. So uh, there is the finished fly. You can see it all epoxied and everything. Um, it's a very nice looking fly. Um, it's got a got a big profile, um, so it moves a lot of water. It's a light fly. The nice thing about it is it has a big profile, but it's you know it's not a whole lot of uh, material. So this you know when it gets wet. You know, it will release that water. It's not going to necessarily soak it up. It's not going to be a big giant wet mop when you're trying to trying to um, throw it. So, um, if you like watching this one, um, I've got plenty others um, to come, and I've also got a few on my site already. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube site, and um, you'll you'll get uh, updates on what flies I've got next for you to try. So, enjoy.